going on y'all? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today is the big day, the day that I have been anticipating and building up to for quite some time now. And I'm on the road. I have officially left Portland. I packed up all my things this morning and now I am making my way east. And I, I, I am excited to be on the road. Like it's, it's really cool and awesome that I have this opportunity to do the whole nomadic living for the time being. If you could see behind me, all my stuff, everything, everything I have is in the back of my truck right now. But anywho, I'll show you guys more of my setup later on. Uh, for now, I'm on my way to Yellowstone National Park, which is super exciting because I've always wanted to go there. Tonight, I think I'm gonna just post up in Boise, Idaho, because that's about the halfway point between uh, Portland and Yellowstone. Other than that, I think I'll just see you guys there. So I just pulled off the highway to go to this rest stop so I could use the restroom. And not only is there an epic sunset going on, but also check this out. It's a bunch of cows. Look at them frolicking around in the field. Those are some happy cows. Look at that guy, he's staring right at me. Ah, he doesn't care anymore. Can I get the Impossible Whopper with no pickles and no mayonnaise? And then I'll do an order of medium french fries. Alright, got myself some BK. Although, it's obviously not good to eat Burger King or really any fast food for that matter um, on a regular basis. Times like this when it's late, it's 11 o'clock, past 11, it's 11.30. Choices are limited, I've been driving all day, I didn't wanna. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy the BK. I just got to Walmart, as you guys can see, and this is where I'm gonna be staying for the night, so. What a beaut. I do just want to add that I think it's super cool that all these fast food places have added um, like Beyond Meat, Impossible Meats, and obviously they're still bad businesses in general. The fact that they're catering to plant-based needs is very cool and convenient, so thumbs up to that. BK also has really good fries. Very salty and hits the spot right now. So guys, the reason that I'm not being that discreet and I'm just kind of advertising the fact that I'm gonna be sleeping here, basically from my own experience and from what I've heard from other people, like the general consensus is that Walmart is maybe not necessarily legal to sleep at, but it's definitely a safe spot for car camping. And it seems to have always been with many other people as well. Famous last words though, right? With my luck. Who knows what'll happen. So I don't wanna jinx it, but as you saw, I just set up my little window covers to go into my incognito mode. And I said I was gonna show you guys around, but there's not much sense in doing that while it's dark out. So I guess I'll just show you a little bit more of my setup and how I'm kind of organizing in the morning when there's light. So I'm just gonna crawl into the truck now and get ready for bed because it is pretty late and I'm tired, so. 
Let's go in. All right, y'all. I don't know how well you can see me, but I am now in the back of my truck. And before I hopped back here, I took a quick look at how it looks from the outside. And I, I really got to get my windows tinted because it looks so obvious. So luckily we're at Walmart tonight and I don't really have to worry about being that discreet like I was talking about earlier. But quickly before I go to bed, I just wanted to have a victory shot of whiskey. I don't victory. I, I don't know if you consider becoming homeless victory, but to me, I think it's pretty cool. And I think that it's cool that I'm out here living it up and doing it. So shout out to Andrew for running downstairs as I was about to leave and reminding me to bring this last little bit of whiskey to have a first night out on the road hurrah shot type deal. Anyways, whew. cheers guys. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Whiskey always tastes much different straight out of the bottle. Maybe it's just me. All right, good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> good morning, y'all. We're approaching 8 a.m. here in Boise, and it's kind of strange. The sunrise isn't until 8 o'clock here, and that's just pretty late for a sunrise in my opinion but I didn't get to bed till really late last night so I'm pretty tired and that's why I kind of slept in and plus <laughs> Boise is one hour ahead of the west coast so my body's just more used to the west coast time I'm about to go inside Walmart and get some groceries and kind of get ready for the trip after I do that I will come back here and I will show you guys a little bit more of my setup and all of that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for the day now. This happens every time I go grocery shopping. I go in for a few things and I end up spending like a hundred bucks on way too much stuff, but Whatever. So I just finished shopping, obviously, as you see, and as promised, I'm gonna show you guys the setup that I have going on in the back of my truck. And mind you that this is probably not very organized and it's not the most ideal setup. This was all last minute and I am moving from one place to another, so I do have a little bit more stuff in the car than I would uh, normally. So make sure to stay tuned for a more in-depth tour when I do eventually build out more of a permanent camper type situation. I'm going to try to figure that out when I get back down to Los Angeles and personally I don't have much experience working with you know carpentry and that kind of thing so it's gonna take a little while and that being said if any of you are in Los Angeles or Southern California and you would like to help me build something cool in the back of this please let me know without further ado let's just go ahead and take a peek in at what I got in here so over here on the left side of the truck is my sleeping setup. We've got a little memory foam type pad that I bought at Home Depot. And sitting on top of that for extra comfort is my down comforter. And then of course my sleeping bag for extra warmth that night. And right now this section is a complete hodgepodge of random stuff. We've got these blue bins that are my primary storage units, the black suitcase you see there in the middle which has all of my clothing, and the cooler is over wedged between one of the storage containers and the front passenger seat. And just for added security and comfort, I have strung up some paracord across the roof of the car, and I hung a blanket there last night just to divide the front driver's cab with the rest of the truck where I sleep and this is nice because it really separates a complete different sleeping quarters. As you saw me setting up last night I have these Reflectix window covers that I made. They're spray painted black on the outside so it looks pretty discreet but again they look pretty obvious that somebody's sleeping in there from the outside so I'm gonna try to find a more permanent solution later on. This tub down below has all my kitchen stuff, so pots, pans, 
utensils, seasonings, all that fun stuff. One super cool thing about this truck that I love is the tailgate. It allows me to use it as a table and it makes cooking super convenient and super easy. Up front, nothing exciting at all. Just another mess of stuff. We got all my shoes down below, my camera bag, a towel, and some other random miscellaneous items. And that's pretty much what I'm working with right now, guys. Like I said, it's nothing exciting. It's nothing glamorous. In fact, it's kind of a mess. It's chaotic right now, but it's only temporary. Like I said, it's also a very last minute solution. As I do this for longer, I'll know exactly what my needs will be and I'll be able to plan and adjust things accordingly. It's getting pretty late. I've still got like a six hour drive to Yellowstone ahead and I got to figure out how to fit all these groceries into the car. So I'm just going to end the video here. I'm going to continue filming. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will be on the road, road tripping and adventuring for the next foreseeable future. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, car camping, sustainable living, living out of your car, adventuring, make sure to subscribe and follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.